Here we are Stuck again Here we are Where do we begin? Yo, yo, YouTube land. Sean and Bob here again with 618 Bushcraft. Um, we're going to continue our series on my first bushcraft dot 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 and it, it just I didn't even think about it whenever I just randomly grab stuff but I actually when I started filming this series have done it in order of the first you know I bought cordage and little small stuff in between and maybe some molly bags or something but uh, other than that the first big purchases the filming has came out in that order we've seen the knife we've seen the axe we saw the bag, and now we're going to go into my first cooking implement or, you know, whatever for bushcraft. That's why I brought Bob along. Normally, the first thing I do when I get to the woods is make coffee, and that's where, where you guys know Bob from. So I figured he hasn't been around for a while. We'll get him some air time. And, of course, Black Rifle, Beyond Black, my favorite roast. But okay, my first cooking mess kit, pot, whatever. Um, if, if you guys have paid attention to my videos enough, you should have pieced together that I started off getting into this by liking survival shows on TV. And then Alone happened, and then I think it was into the second season of Alone whenever Buddy Brandon told me about Joe Robinette's video, or YouTube channel. So I checked that out, and then I was introduced to Bushcraft. And if you guys have watched Joe, you know early on his been, you know, still to this day, his one of his favorite go-to pots is the Zebra Billy Pot. So, of course, me being a huge Joe fanatic, this had to be the first cooking pot that I bought, and I'm glad I did. I really like my GI mess kit for all-around use, but and but for now, like now that it's winter time, when if I'm good, if hopefully I get to go out by myself soon. I'll probably bring this and do a soup or something instead of a steak or something fancy like that. Something hearty and warming all in this pot. And if you know anything about this pot, it's got the double the lid on top where uh, Joe, he likes to boil water and cook his eggs in here, which is a brilliant idea if you're going to do eggs and oatmeal. Uh, oh, it's got some stuff in there. But I did not do my research whenever I bought this one. Uh, there's a company, I think it's Firebox, I think, that uh, sells these for a little bit more with metal handles. I just got the Zebra brand that had plastic clips. Stupidest design idea ever for a cooking pot. But yeah, they, they melted off and I've yet to try to make little clips yet because I haven't used it much in a long since, Like I said, since I got the GI mess kit, and just going out with Brandon and doing steaks and bacon and stuff like that. I haven't really needed this. Uh, but I will be using it very soon. I love it. It's got the bale handle. Can't go wrong with it. And of course in your bag, you got room to store something right here. And then you can keep, you know, seasonings, whatever you want to keep in the pot. Can't remember how much I paid for it. I think the Firebox brand, depending on the size, I think I looked, and I can't even remember what size this one is. It's the in-between, so I think maybe the 14, I think. Uh, the Firebox, I think they were like $35. Mine was a little cheaper, obviously, because it had the plastic clips, and I paid for that one. But either way, there you go. My very first Bushcraft Billy Pot mess kit anything purchase. The Zebra, I think, 14. So you guys know the routine with this by now. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like to share what your first bushcraft mess kit, billy pot, whatever purchase was, or make a video. And until next time, from Bob and I, remember, outside that door, that window, and that, all these walls, is not called the great outdoors for no reason. And we don't make mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs>